Hey everyone, I'm in the kitchen and Ida just got home from work because I work here in the homestead and well, we did some picking and I'm gonna show you here. I'm at our island and use here. So we just picked these, we got our first cantaloupes today. This is a late harvest for us as I planted these things late. Uh, we have okra right there, our first, our very first string beans right there, our very first muscadine grapes that I tasted one and it was sort of sweet and these were like falling on the ground so I'm gonna do an experiment I'm gonna show that to you just in a moment here and then these are our very own cantaloupe and uh, they say when it's like sort of whitish around the stem and that's green. I mean, I'd have picked this one. <laughs> okay, but even though this one is smaller, much smaller, uh, look, look it, it's all, it's pretty white right there. And that's definitely a ripe uh, cantaloupe. And that's sort of green again. Hmm, hmm, honey. Okay, and then this one looks to be pretty ripe, and it's white there in the middle. Okay, so anyway, and we got some cucumbers, and our very first sort of yellow uh, sweet pepper, and, and look at this, our very first eggplant, and we got a whole bunch of baby ones similar to this uh, that are on the plants out there in the garden. So... Uh, it, it's, it's pretty cool. And, and these muscadine grapes, that's what I want to do the experiment with just here in a second. But I'm going to elevate up and scoot over. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. Uh, it weighs a several pounds, like maybe 30 or 40 pounds. It weighs a ton. Anyway, these are uh, a mixture of the Jubilee and the Roma. Uh, tomatoes and again Ida picked that pick those and I was out there also as she was picking these and there is just a a lot more to be picked yikes oh my gosh we have a lot of tomatoes she wants me to can some mild salsa so the other salsa that I did this past week that I canned eight pints of the zesty sort of a spicy uh, salsa and it is delicious and I really like it uh, with a crispy salty tortilla chips <laughs> anyway okay so let's get on with with my little experiment here so I'm gonna grab these so you got one two three four five six seven muscadine grapes these are the bronze and it appears that that's pretty much what all of our muscadine plants are. They're these. And I'm gonna come over here and let me see here. Rinse these off. Each grape has has a seed in the middle, but you can you can tell these are these are big. These are big grapes. Any, anyways. I know these are clean and we and, and these are organic. We didn't spray them or anything. And here's the Vitamixer, okay? And I'm just gonna plop these four in there. There's not much. There they are down there. And I'm gonna turn this thing on right down here. And now now everything's lit up. And I'm gonna put the cover on. And see what what happens. Oh well, that was fast. Just can't do much if it's not going to. Uh, maybe I should have put some liquid in there, but I wanted it. Oh wow. Well, if I had some more grapes, I just. Uh, what am I gonna do? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna. This faucet here is our filtered water. I just turn it on. This is a Ida's coffee thing and it's clean. And so I'm just gonna put a little bit of 
spring type of filtered water in there and see pretend that that what I just poured in there is is extra grapes and let's see with what happens going here hmm interesting <laughs> I'm I'm gonna pause here for just a second and pour it into uh, a glass and I'll explain what I'm gonna do next okay I'm back and um, I got the the, like the cheesecloth that I use for the almond milk that I make and so I'm going to pour this in the cheesecloth I know this is just so professional with what I'm doing sorry about that and I only have two hands everyone so I what I want to do is I want to strain this Look at that. Well, I guess I can sort of strain it, just pinch it. Remember this was what, five? Five grapes, or was it six? Muscadine grapes. And they have big, big seeds in them, but as you can tell, even as cheesecloth, there's no lumps in there or anything. Okay, so there's, there's pure, almost pure, I, because I added how many ounces of fluid just to because I didn't have enough grapes so let me do a taste test <laughs> so let's see okay here's my coffee cup and I'm gonna turn it around here and that's my Tennessee cup and here is the uh, muscadine juice and I'm gonna pour that in there Oh. Well, here's the test. I got my cup here. I'm almost afraid to sip it. So let's let's see what what happens. It's not sour and it's not super sweet. It's sort of a tart sweet. And it could be just because um, maybe the, uh, the the timing to harvest muscadine grapes, they say, is like the end of August, which we're basically here. The 29th is today of August 2022. And I'm thinking if I wait another week or two before I do a sizable harvest of the muscadines, that they'll be much sweeter than this. It's not bad, it's not bad, but it's not the greatest. <laughs> so, actually it, it tastes really good. That really tastes good. It's just pure from the homestead muscadine juice. And I like it. If I add some stevia to it just to sweeten it up a little bit more, and I'll probably do that. But anyway, that was just an experiment. And uh, I, I have fun doing things like that. Now I need to clean my mess up with that brief little experiment. And, hey, thank you all for watching. Uh, again, this is Wayne. And thanks so much. You have a great day. And I'll see you when I do another video. Hopefully very soon. Okay, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.